Good morning and welcome to Kao Kio. We're with a golf bar. We've got a 12.30 tea time. We're playing forward, which uh, everyone wanted to be on. But I don't. I wish I was further back. Anyway, this is fairly obvious. Don't go in the water. And don't go in the mounds and the bunkers on the right. Straight drive required. That'll do. Number one. Very good. Not sure how far this is. I'm just choosing to hit the five iron. To again stay between the water and the bunkers. Oops. Well, that was a fail, so penalty drop. Eight iron over the water. I'm not worried about that. I shall make this quite easy. little bit big. Good morning and what a start. Straight out the minibus onto the first tee. Welcome to Kao Kiao, which means Green Mountain Country Club. Wonder why they call it Green Mountain. See if we can get away with a bogey on the first. This is one of the toughest courses I play. 27 holes, Pete Dye, I've never broken 80. But my best round was from the tees further back. We're playing, I think it's A and C, or sorry, C and A. I've gone long on this. Let's hope for just a six. The sky makes it look like it's Britain in autumn. And yes, it is a bit cooler. It is under 30 degrees today which means we have a chance of playing some decent golf. Right. The second is a dogleg right, but there's out of bounds right and there is water right. But you've got to hit it right. Okay. Okay. And that's right. Just an eight iron in, flag is way at the back, so I'm happy to oh. be short. But well, I'm not happy to hit it that thin. Okay. Somehow we've managed to creep past the bunker. Yeah. Into the grain with the chip and into the grain with the putt. That just died. That's what happens when you chip into the grain and the greens are a little, little slower. Now as we're playing forward, the third, well I've never played this hole this short before, just a 9-9 because I don't want to go past the flag. A short par four with some nasty bunkers down the left and the line of trees and out of bounds right. I've taken the three wood and tried to hit it straight at that bunker in the distance. 80 yards left and the green slopes left to right so it makes sense to hit this right of the flag. And this is where we'll get our birdie chance from. C5, out of bounds left, trees right, ah. that's not exactly a fade down the left. Okay, fairway. Fairway? Mm. Killed a monkey. And yes, I must have killed a monkey to bounce back this far. Still, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. No. Bang it on the green. Don't okay. well take advantage of your luck. Quick look at the hole, figure out which way the grain's going. 
then when the caddy gives you a line, it kind of makes sense. You have to look with your eyes. You certainly can't feel grain with your feet. Quite a discussion going on, because I want to understand what the lady is saying to me and why. And once you trust your caddy, that can make all the difference. Come, cat. Oh, what a fun. What a caddy. Not me. I, I, all i got to do is do what I'm told. Come, cat. Back the way we came on. Up the fifth, now we're down the sixth. Wind is off the right, I'm trying to draw it. Oh, Simon! Doesn't Whoa! look too much like a draw to me. Now this shot is for my friend Neil Farmer. Six iron down the shaft. Just got to miss that big bunker above my head. And we managed to slide it past. Maybe get a par. Which leaves me an English style chip and run with a wedge. Listen for the flag. I'm not used to playing this far forward and that water is most definitely in my face. I should be here with a three wood off this tee. Oh, too much side. <laughs> and the inevitable yank left because I think I can reach the water. All I gotta do now is miss the palm tree. Oh straight down. Water still in play down the right, so we keep it left. And there's the green mountain in the distance. Okay, we make par. <laughs> <laughs> Just a gap wedge in. I know this green, so I know which side I want to of the flag I want to be to get that uphill putt. Okay. Give me my best chance of the par. I think maybe three wood off that tee for me. You think three wood? We come to the next par three and this really feels like I'm off the ladies. I've never had so little club into this green. It normally plays a four iron. Still no complaints. Go, Simon. You had it. Had we go it. to number nine. Forgot number nine's got water all the way down the right. It's got a nasty bunker left. This is a draw with a three wood all day long. There's absolutely nothing to be gained by trying to hit driver. I've just been told the green is up and down. That means the front of the green is into the grain. And the back of the green is down the grain. Okay, we try for birdie. So if you look here, it's shiny. From my side, it's dark, so that is oh, into the grain. Which is why I'm a little short. Boy. Now we go off to the A9. Nothing to be gained with hitting driver here. Even though the hazards aren't that great, I'm sticking with the three wood. We've had a little wait because the fairway seemed to be crowded with an awful lot of people. Nice little pitch. Thank you, James. Another birdie chance. But this is down the grain. And I got a little bit oh, cagey no. about it. So just a par.
A very difficult and well protected par 5. It's a gentle dog leg to the left all the way up to the green. I guess this is what happens when you've had 10 minute wait. All I've got is chip it out. The ball didn't go OB. After all, there was too much vegetation to get through. And I don't hit this well enough. Okay. Simply because well. of the type of grass I'm chipping out of. If I try a longer club and it doesn't hook, I can be in trouble on the right. So I'm taking a six okay. to hit that draw around the tree. It's going to leave me a hell of a long tree. way back. <laughs> And we've got this monster bunker up the left to avoid. Oh, yeah, hit it right there. No good. Yeah, this thing's enormous. Goodness knows how many tons of sand are in this. With water all the way down the right, the left edge of this green looks very attractive to me. First time I played this hole it was into the wind and it was a three wood. It was over 200 yards. That's how far forward we're playing today. We got to this tee box and the six ball hadn't quite teed off. We had to wait and then wait for all of these hackers to actually get far enough away. I think this was a two cigarette break between swings. Yeah. Just a gap wedge, get it over the trees, get back on my own hole. See if I can make a bogey. Okay. This golf course has always been a wet golf course. Even after a week of sunshine, it still manages to be wet. Oh, right underneath. The only time I played it when it was right dry was in February. And it had been obviously dry for a very long time because that is the driest part of the year through January and February. But the course is absolutely saturated Fine in again. places. It certainly makes life hard. Trying to make a score. Okay. And just in case you think I'm making it up, okay. two caddies have already left the green, that leaves Six players and four caddies. This is exceptionally slow and it completely destroys the rhythm of the day. Another forward tee. I don't think I've ever played this far forward. But that doesn't mean that it's any easier. To be honest, I'm starting to lose the will to live with all the waiting. If you think this is bad, okay. wait until later in the holiday Makes a change where not we to get be in stuck behind a seven ball that becomes an eight ball on the tenth tee. It is so hard to play golf at this kind of pace of play when you are moving pretty quickly in the first place. 
a really nasty short par 4. Water all the way down the left. Trees and monkey grass down the right. It's such a hard fairway to find this one. <laughs> and then when you get down there, you simply can't see anything for the mounds. And the green itself is an absolute nightmare, although you're not going to see how bad it is. I simply turned through that before I'd hit it. It looked like a shank, but it wasn't. It was actually a thin. Too much. That'll do. That'll do. Well played. Not really. From the normal tees, there's no cutting this corner. You hit it straight at that bunker to the right of my hat. But as we're forward, and we hit this par five over the top of the trees. It's no problem. In fact, it's a piece of cake. Except for this fairway is pretty scruffy. I know I've got to get down to the ball because the lie is awful. And yeah, the result of that is you get down far too much. No real hazards coming into this green. So even though I've made a mess of it, because it's a par 5, I can make 5. We've had a very long wait here. This is the last hole. I'm aiming the wrong way. And that's the result. My game's gone down the toilet since we caught them fuckers up. Funnily, my caddy didn't give me my card at the end of this round. It's the only card that's missing out of the whole holiday. I just think she didn't want me to see what had happened to my score as a result of catching up the six ball. Still, I'm coming back in a couple of weeks and I'll get another chance. Cheerio! Okay, one last bogey. Bogey the fish.